Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. For you who are the fans, subscribers of this channel, you are familiar with this 2007 Toyota SR5 two-wheel drive and all of us agreed that these wheels are hideous and it's horrible and they need to go. Somebody apparently have different taste than we have because somebody thought this is improvement. We all understand it's horrible and not only it looks bad, actually looking in that monitor doesn't look so bad from here but in real person when you are standing next to it it's ooh, horrible but also drivability it's absolutely disgusting it's so rough over the smallest potholes the whole suspension the whole feel feels horrible on top of it when you drive it on the highway somewhere over 50 the whole thing starts shaking like this and i don't think it's due to the bad alignment and what are those wheels actually so if you look on the sidewall here you immediately see that the rim is huge and the tire it's very low profile and that makes that harsh right and it says here 305 35 R24 so these are 24 inch rims with a 305 35 tires that means it's very very low profile and it's awful the right it's absolutely awful you don't believe me that it's absolutely crazy bad let me take you on the test drive. By the way, problem with that secondary air injection system, it's fixed. I made a video about it. The air pumps are running perfectly. And I just looked on the computer, I did the scan today. She's ready for the smoke here in California. So I'm taking her in two hours to get smoked. So I'm already on one of the more main roads and the whole truck, I feel it in the seat, it shakes and the right is rough. These little imperfections fixed on the road already makes everything transfers into the cabin. The steering on the highway is not pulling anywhere yet as the tires they are wider as they hit all these small imperfections it just transfers in the steering in your seat everywhere and here is some abandoned track right in front of us you will see you will hear how the whole truck will shake because that low profile My goodness, so we can step on it. It's a 55 miles per hour. Have to watch for the cops. Sometimes they sit right there. Wanna get ya? Wanna get ya? Get some money out of your wallet. Now look at the steering, the shake. I go a little bit faster. It's unbearable, it's undrivable. The whole truck, the mirrors, everything shakes like crazy. Can you hear it? So that's no fun. It's no fun. I was shopping for some Uh, it's crazy. Uh, this whole thing vibrates and shakes like crazy. So I was shopping 
for some used wheels, used rims, maybe used tires, the valves, Toyota valves in the rim, because you want to get rid of that warning, tire warning light, which you can probably see right there, it will not go off. So I was shopping for some OEM replacement. Look, the speed bump. I'll be quiet. Slow down. Yep. Just hits you because the, there's no cush, cushion from that uh, high wall of the tire. And everything is really hard. The hit, the suspension and the bearings and everything gets all of us hit really hard. So I was shopping and I actually scored. When you buy a Tundra, you realize, you find out the Tundras are actually everywhere. It's another one. I thought there are Tacomas everywhere in past, but I see so many Tundras. It's obviously a very popular truck. And this is what I got for her, ladies and gentlemen. This comes from another Tundra. And the only thing I messed up, I didn't ask the owner what year was his red Tundra. His name is Igor. I traveled six hours to Sacramento. He's a very, very nice guy. Not only he sold me rims, tires he also left the valves inside these are Toyota valves ask him hey they were shot right he said actually no they were all working when I removed the wheels not only that he saved all the lug nuts and the center caps if that's missing everything you have to pay extra so here is the hope for us look at the tires really nice it says all terrain trail finder two tires have like 50 percent of thread left and two tires they seem to be i will say 30. so this is a two good these two and this is the two which are more worn the truck is still on the ground so let's compare what is the difference in the size when I put them right next to each other see that wall is what will give me that extra cushion and the ride should be way softer and more forgivable than this super low profile a rim and the tire they seem to be on the same level or this might be no it's not higher at the end it's the same diameter i will not need this special tool anymore which is for these special thin lug nuts this is truly historical moment i have no doubt about it these are the special lug nuts for these super special wheels. When I first time touched those, I was surprised how happy these wheels are. Wow! It's absolutely nuts. And here is maybe better comparison side by side. This new one, the OEM looks definitely way smaller, more narrow. First I will put a little bit of anti-seize right here. It's not rusted, but I want to prevent that rust. Okay, let's see what's the weight difference. Oh, this is a paper, guys. It's absolutely nothing. And that could, in the future, positively affect the miles per gallon fuel consumption. I just found out the one lug nut was missing. I already put the other wheels on. So this one, 
I don't have to go get this afternoon after the smoke. We'll go get a one lug nut. Wow, how is she looking? If you wonder why I don't use this one, it's not compatible. Let's install that center cap which came with it, which is incredible. Because these are very expensive. The OEM ones are very, very expensive. And here you can enjoy the results of all this work. Isn't she looking normal again? That's the whole point that I ordered today. The tail light, both of them obviously. I'm thinking about changing those mirrors, the tow mirrors, because it's not easy, it's not so quick. To spot vehicles in those but these wheels look at that I'm so happy so let's see how it changed the drivability let's do apples to apples let's try the same area we used in the beginning of this video so here are these bumps oh yeah completely different now I can step on it now let's see if that shake around the 50 if it will come and oh awesome the truck is not shaking at all I'm going 58 something like that it's completely steady and the vibration of steering wheel and everything it's completely gone yes I love it and of course this won't change I bought her with water tank put few miles on it seriously like I don't know 40 miles and the fuel gauge it's already <laughs> showing that it's <laughs> Time to go to the gas station. Typical. So here you got it. She passed the smoke. This truck is getting better and better. I think we can fix her up together and make her civilized again. Usable for a normal usage. Do you like those wheels? I do. She looks good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching and have a good day.